ladies and gentlemen, this is your count 29. Well, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, fight fans joining us all around the world. We're live here at the fabulous Macron Stadium in Bolton, England, where Brian Calder and Stefania Picelli of Yokao Promotions bring you an unforgettable evening of Muay Thai action. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Yokao 29. I am Dougie McAdam, and we are ready to open the show. Our opening bout this evening, A-class Muay Thai, scheduled for five three-minute rounds and matched at 60 kilograms. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, fighting out of IG's gym in Radcliffe. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Aizan Taylor! Well, good evening and welcome to Yokao 29 in the home that is. Bolton Wanderers Football Stadium, uh, Macron Stadium here in Bolton. I'm Vinnie Shawman and I'm very pleased to have made the return, have with me for the return of Mr. Gavin Sterrick. Gavin, a sparkler tonight on Yoko 29. As always, we come to expect that every single time. So, making his way to the ring is Isaac Taylor from Johnny T's gym. He's done gym. Isaac, very, very popular indeed, a youngster. Good skills. Johnny's been around since war was invented, Gavin. Johnny's been around since water was invented. Older than fire. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Isaac Taylor! a uh, very, very uh, tricky cast customer. Bag of tricks, been training since he was about, I think, about six years old, so he knows the game inside out. Johnny Taylor's been around a very long time indeed. This should be a clash between two different styles, Gavin. Yeah, always, always look for a good fight with two different, three different styles. So, as ever, the anticipation, the crowd here grows, is later on coming up will be a very, very talked about and highly anticipated contest between Jonathan Haggerty from Kettles and Knowles Academy versus Keith McClough from the Old Four Horses and you can on the block. We've been looking forward to that and it's got everyone split down the Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Anton Austin! So Anton Austin then, trained by Paul Karpowitz and Johnny T. Uh, Johnny T. And son. this is the opening bout of the evening, scheduled for five three-minute rounds. I and when the bell sounds, the man in charge of the action is Master Jesse Saunders. Master Jesse Saunders then. <laughs> Stuck him with Adam. Um, resident MC. So it's Anton Austin in the black and red. Black, 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 red and white, I should say. And the white gloves and the turquoise gloves with red is Mr. Isaac Taylor. Both former students of Master Scan many, many years ago. So we'll see then. A class fight, five three minute rounds, full rules, elbows and knees are allowed to the head. Our referee, as ever, is the very, very experienced, one of the best, I believe, in the business, Mr. Jesse Saunders from the Shinkit Gym in Woking. Thank you. 
Gangali, Anton Austin. The awkward for Isaac Taylor, laugh to land heavy. Nice kick inside the leg. Switching at Southport and Orthodox Air Gav. Yeah, both very well skilled fighters. Yeah. See, see who lays down the plants first. Nice elbow through the middle, you see it? Austin looks the more, more confident uh, of the two fighters to, to yeah. get going. Heavy kick to the leg from Austin. Yeah, Austin seems to find his range quite early, early doors here. Nice kick there to the leg though from Taylor. It's testing distance, offering that leg out. Nice body kick off the front leg, switch that well. Both fighters find the range of those leg kicks. Yeah. Awkward attacks from Austin as they will. So two tackle that, that right elbow just missed the target area. Yeah, I'm just thinking whether Taylor wants a bit more movement in this because normally he stays on the end of, of, of Austin's range there. Puck the face though, Taylor, hasn't he? Yeah, His expression hasn't very, changed at all. Very, very calm. Nice kick from Taylor. Return. Nice return, yeah, really yeah. nice. Smirk across the face of Anton, but Taylor's not falling for any of them shenanigans, Gavin, you know? No, Taylor, his patience is paying off a little bit here. Yeah. Nice kick, really nice. heavy. Very nice. And Harry inside leg as well, reddening on the inside leg of Austin. Interesting first round, tit for tat. More scoring going on in the traditional sense from Isaac Taylor, especially some heavy body kicks where he did return, G. Yeah, I think Austin's, uh, Austin's trying a few different things there, and, and Taylor's are sort of sticking to it. And, and, and keep it to the same plan, but the next round should be very, very interesting. Both fighters warmed up now, found the range, and uh, we should see something different from, from Taylor, especially, I think, now. Yeah, what I've noticed is the calmness and the, the you know, the, the way he's collected, cool, calm and collected Isaac Taylor. He hasn't really broken a sweat, to be honest, Kevin. Fit kid, in shape. Anton, yeah. same, really, similar to Stone, seem too worried about what's going on. Yeah, I think... They're both very well conditioned, but he's not he's not fell for anything that you know Austin's kind of laid out there at the moment. Yeah, it's some of the action from round one then. It was just in and out style of Anton Austin and the more concise blows and on target and clinical for Austin. For sorry, Isaac Taylor. Go to round number two then of a very, very interesting contest. That was the elbow that just missed the whiskers and the top of the eye of Taylor. He's got to watch out for them. He seems really motivated early, Gavin, we'll see. So in the corner is Paul Carpets, okay, with Luke Diddler's Potts. Luke and Paul have been together for a very, very long time. At the two technical gyms since we were kids. Still are kids to me. And uh, yeah, we'll see. So a sellout crowd as ever, well, always, here at Yoko. We'll see as we go into round number two then. Check it out. 
This intrinsic contest, the turquoise is for Isaac Taylor. And the red and white is Anton Austin started straight away to. Yeah, Austin coming with a big kick straight away. Trying to use his range. He's not really put his range to use that much at the moment. Block that kick. Taylor. Nice kick back from him. Catch the kick underneath, no, scores. Good. Really good. I don't think there's much, too much difference in, in the two fighters uh, in terms of power. No, yeah. I, I don't, but it seems that Taylor's landing the, uh, the, the more meteor of the shots, yeah. Gavin, you know? It's impressive so far from Taylor, because um, Anton's very difficult to deal with. Him stepping to his right and just having to think about it. Yeah, he definitely does. He's got a style that keeps you guessing. Uh, you know, he, yeah. could, he, he could lead you to make mistakes uh, the way he fights. Brimming with confidence, Anton Austin. Yes, he's not shy. Well, now there's Paul, it's, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, Gavin. <laughs> nice leg kick, so scoring, reddening on the leg of Anton Austin. Nice left body kick from Taylor. Taylor a bit busier this round, a bit yeah. just chipping away a bit, a bit more now. Needs a kick on the end of them shots though, doesn't yeah. he? Visible reddening on the leg of Anton. Taylor shouldn't leave that leg alone, a la Liam Harrison. You can see his corner shout yeah. the same thing there now. Work, work on that leg. Nice, very clever, leg kick and then fake the low kick, come up with the push kick through the middle. Same as a headbutt. Didn't see that. No. Left up. Starting to come apart, Anton Austin here, G. Yeah, you can see the little games, <coughs> little, uh, little faints and little, little smiles and stop now, so you can see now his nose is down for hard work. The thing is, with fundamentals of Muay Thai, if it's done well, and it's telling us doing well, so is, uh, so is Austin, but it's the, it's the heaviness of the, the difference of the two now, and he's landing with regularity on the target area, Gavin. Yeah, he's, you know, Taylor's not being sucked in by Austin, some of Austin's games, uh, he's just sticking completely to his own plan, sticking to the basics well, and it's working for him. Round three then. Taylor looks like he started this with more vigor, Gavin. This yeah, round. I think with each round he's grown with a bit more confidence yeah. there. He, he's, you know, he's put his own stamp on this now. And you can see that leg starting. It, it, it's, it, that is sore. Austin's leg is sore, yeah. definitely. Keep him occupied with the left kick though, G. Yeah. And throwing a little flurry of punches then coming up with a low kick. Nice body shot. Run out of ideas, Austin here, guys. I was just gonna say the same thing yeah. there. He, he has a little bit. He's waiting for he's waiting for Taylor now. And, and trying to play the reaction game, but it's not a good way to go. A 
the two now, Taylor looks much more composed as well, you can see. Yeah. Still just half a step out though when he throws those shots. Yeah. So showing some, still showing some respect, maybe a bit too much now. Just start stepping to his right now, and stamping. He's only a kid, though, isn't he? Still, you got to remember that. You know, stamping his authority, really stepping to his right, banging that leg kick in. Anton's got to start throwing more instead of gesturing and posturing, moving his hips around, etc. He's got to be scoring. And, you know, I think sometimes as well, when you see these two guys as well, they are both young, and you see how accomplished they both are, yeah. and you forget how young they are. Yes, you do. You, know, you assume that they've got loads of experience and stuff, just the way they are. They've got experience, but you know. They are still young men. Talented men have given us a really entertaining fight here. To open our card and knock out 29. Really, really concentrated, Taylor. He's not, he's not, he's not lost his concentration, his focus no, at all. Not at all. at all, not once. Stayed right on it, very good. Sharp, that left body kick's not much in it though, is it, Taylor? But it's working for him. Good lead kick from Anton. Really going for it now, Ted. He's starting to gain confidence here, Gavin. Yeah, he is. He's starting to, starting to sit down with his shot for a little bit more as well now. You can see that he's, he's, got, he's got Austin hurt a little bit there. Yeah. You can see the visible reddening on the flank of Austin. He's got to come up with something bigger to score, really, Gavin, you know? I think, you know... We're going to round number four then um, of this intriguing contest to open our show. A class 60 Ready kilos four. Muay Thai. Straight to that leg. Yeah. That was a good shot Very right good. in the body. He's really hurt Taylor with that. I heard him say left kick. That's right in the solar yeah. plexus, that. He's got to get over that, Taylor. This is where the acid test... You've got to give credit to Anton for pulling that Listen, out of the bag. He is, he... I heard him say left kick. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if that left knee lands. You know, it's something you've got to recover to from as well. It's very difficult to recover from a shot like that. Blitzkrieg of shots. Austin so wants to No, no, there you go. He just poured it on him then. You know what? You can see the annoyance in, in Paul Karpowitz's face, you know? Because he did say left kick and he looked at me with like a, a real angry attitude towards it. Because he told him what to do, and that's what you don't you get when you, if you don't listen to your corner. Yeah, I think as well, from Austin's point of view, he kind of threw a little bit of a caution to the wind there as well in that round, because he knew he knew his leg was sore, he knew that he, he was gonna he was gonna really keep going and keep hitting and stiffing him up. So there he three quarters of the wind and went straight at him and, and you know, very impressive stoppage indeed. Yeah, you know, you know, and now you've got to give credit to Anton there, Gavin, because he was losing. You know, yeah. no doubt, his leg was battered, and it, and you know what was uh, uh, impressive? 
kick him from that leg that was injured and then cause him to stop yeah, his like busy. that. I think it's, it's, it's the golden rule, isn't it? No matter yeah. fighters of this quality, okay, no guys, matter what, are always dangerous every rules. second of every minute of every round. You know what, commiserations to Isaac. It's the second time I've seen him stop with the body shot, I think. And, uh, you know, maybe back. this... Yeah, of course yeah, he will. Yeah, of course he was only a baby. He's so good first of all, ladies Great and performance and so far, though, wasn't it? Great appreciation for both fighters. It's a fight I'd like to see again, you know. So would I. And after one minute and two seconds of round number four, the boxer in the blue corner unable to continue. Referee stops the contest, awarding this bout to your winner in the red corner, Anton. Yeah, it was a good. Oh, you know, it was a good pull out of the back performance, wasn't and it? Your from the from the Taylor from the jaws of defeat and. Uh, yeah, it was a good performance, that Gavin. And you know, good call by Jesse. I know his dad was a bit annoyed, but that was a good call. No, I think it's always good to be able to fight for another day. You know, you, you know, it's not. There's no. Uh, there's no honour in, uh, in in being fully injured. You know. Yeah, it's true.